I know how to search your mind and find your secrets. I know the tricks, and I can teach them to you so that even when you're asleep, your defense is never down. Look, if you want my help, you're gonna have to be completely open with me. I need to know my way around your thoughts better than your wife, better than your therapist, better than anyone. If this is a dream and you have a safe full of secrets, I need to know what's in that safe. In order for this all to work, you need to completely let me in.
Once an idea has taken hold in the brain, it's almost impossible to eradicate. An idea that is fully formed, fully understood, that sticks right in there somewhere.
a job for some very, very powerful people. People who I believe can fix my charges permanently. But I need your help. You're here to corrupt one of my brightest and best. You know what I'm offering? You have to let them decide for themselves. Money. Not just money. You remember. It's the chance to build cathedrals, entire cities, things that never existed. Things that couldn't exist in the real world. So you, you want me to let someone else follow you into your fantasy? They don't actually come into the dream. They just, they just design the levels and teach them to the dreamers. That's all. Design it yourself.
I'm just doing what I know. I'm doing what you taught me. I never taught you to be a thief. No, you taught me to navigate people's minds, but after what happened, there weren't a whole lot of legitimate ways for me to use that skill.
Bring your bounty to the feast. I'll show you mine. Would you open everything? Hello? Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad. Hey, guys. Hey. How are you? How you doing, huh? Good. Okay, I guess. Okay? Well, who's just okay? Is that you, James? Yeah. When are you coming home, Dad? Well, I can't, sweetheart. I can't. It's not for a while, remember? Why? Look, I, I told you I'm, I'm, I'm away because I'm working. Right? Grandma says you're never coming back. Philip, is that you? Put Grandma on the phone for me, will you? She's shaking her head. Let's just hope she's wrong about that. Daddy? Yeah, James?
Cobb said you'd be back. I tried not to come, but... but there's nothing quite like it. It's just... Your creation. else is here too. Who are the people? It's projections of my subconscious. Is yours? Yes. Remember, you are the dreamer. You build this world. I am the subject. My mind populates it. You can literally talk to my subconscious. That's one of the ways we extract information from the subject. How else do you do it? By creating something secure like a like a bank vault or a jail. The mind automatically fills it with information it's trying to protect. You understand? Then you break in and steal it. Well, I guess I thought that the dream space would be all about the visual, but it's more about the feel of it. My question is, what happens when you start messing with the physics of it all? Let me ask you a question. You, you never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. I guess, yeah. So how did we end up here? Well, we just came from the... Uh... Think about it, Ariadne. How did you get here? Where are you right now? We're dreaming? You're actually in the middle of the workshop right now, sleeping. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming. Stay calm.
idea is like a virus. Resilient. Highly contagious. And the smallest seed of an idea can grow. It can grow to define or destroy you. The smallest idea, such as your world is not real. A simple little thought that changes everything. So certain of your world, of what's real. Do you think he is? Or do you think he's as lost as I was? I know it's real, Mom.
so we can be young men together again. Come back with me. Come back. Mr. Cobb. 